Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first video here on YouTube and I'm super excited. I was a little bit nervous but I hope that it came out okay and that you guys are able to recreate this look. If you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys! love to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and on here it says it's a 24 hour anti-crease and it really is it works really well so I put about tiny like a pea size this much focus so I put about this much next what I do is I use my Laura Mercier translucent powder you can use any powder just to um, have that skin um, prepped because what happens is if you just use if you just use the um, primer the eye primer and then you just start going in with your eyeshadow then what happens is your eyeshadow doesn't blend very well, right? So I'm just using a fluffy brush. This one is by OPV Brushes. And just put on a little bit of translucent powder on your lids and inside here. Now I haven't put any concealer on yet and um, the brows have nothing in it. These are my natural brows. I know. I actually have hair on them but I still shade them in. So here are some of my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I love Makeup Geek. Um, I've used them for a very long time and the eyeshadows are amazing. Creme Brulee, one of my favorite colors. So I'm using my Sigma E40 brush to blend. This is my most go-to blending brush, you guys. So I'm not putting a lot of pressure. And don't be afraid to use your fingers. And you can see my eyebrow hair going everywhere, as usual. This is Frappe by Makeup Geek. I'm going to be building my crease. So I'm going to be making it a little bit more dramatic. Just so when I open my eyes, you're going to see that nice dark brown. So you see how that just like adds a little bit of depth to the eyes. I'll show you guys the difference. Mm -hmm. Use your fingers to clean up. This one is called Cocoa Bear. Don't need expensive brushes, I just use them because I have them. Morphe brushes are amazing, um, crown brushes are amazing. Sigma is amazing. A lot of really good companies that come out with good quality brushes and not for that expensive. I will list all the links below where you guys can get stuff. You see how I'm making that darker with Cocoa Bear? Just into that crease right there. You see that? So this is the difference. This is with Cocoa Bear and this is without. Okay. Just make sure everything's blended and that you have even product, you know, with one eye to the other. Focus. Focus. Look at that. I'm going to be adding this to my lid 
It's called Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek. Then you just go ahead and blend that out. And there we go. Woohoo! Artist of Makeup, and this is by Zucrete Cosmetics. Um, and it's called the Extreme Art Liner Pen. I normally start, I know some people like draw that little wing, but I don't know. I just start from the tip, I mean from the front. I hope you guys can see that. The one advice I can give with eyeliner is don't be afraid of it because it senses your fear. Okay, so now that the eyeliner and the top of the eyes are done, I like to brush my hairy brows. Benefit came out with like this entire line of really amazing brow stuff. You guys should check it out. And the packaging. I mean, look at the packaging. It's adorable. It's a very light hand. generous amount of glue as you can see wait for 30 seconds this one actually dries a lot quicker I feel than a lot of them and I use my hand my fingers first to just place it what I do is I place the middle section first because what it what happens is the corners are easy to like wiggle and move around. Once you have that center base on, it's really easy. See? Hope everything is gonna come out clear. But, but upper and lower lashes and be done with it or you can add some color you guys know I'm obsessed with color these two babies I love them I will tell you exactly what they are this first one is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Electric and I love to mix like two blue eyeliners or two purple eyeliners together. And the second one is also Urban Decay and it's the Deep End. It's this one right here. So I'll show you guys exactly how I make that waterline pop in my photos. And gently go over inside the waterline like that now people do this just once and they stop you know and then they see that it, it doesn't have that pop of color effect so you have to go over it a few times you know if your eyes water give yourself a little break don't be too rough but you know you need that color you want to see the color Unless you're going for the natural effect, then you don't need to layer this. 
but you guys know I'm not about the natural life. Look at that. This is just with the electric. Next, I'm taking the deep end color which is a little bit darker and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna draw right under what I just did blending the two colors together I'm gonna make that harsh line a little bit softer. Oh, can't even see me on camera. Sorry, guys. See that? Was that hard? No, it wasn't. Take a little brush and highlight. the inner corners with the same shadow as my lid which was Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer Better Than Sex Mascara I'm obsessed So here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe and comment down below what you guys would like to see next. I would really love to hear from you all. See you guys later. Your eyeliner, bleh. don't forget that your eyeliner, easy. Okay. Look at these. Anyway, I will try to do a talk through video.